So I've been really bummed out since we come back to LA because I need to shoot my bow like every day in order to get ready for this archery hunt. I'm a big believer in being very prepared before, what? Oh, I guess what you're saying. I just wanted to show you this sign real quick. So I'm driving down the road and look what I see. Archery range. So now I'm like completely stoked. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I was bummed because I couldn't shoot my bow. I could in the backyard, but like at 15 yards, I gotta shoot out to 30 at least, or 40 yards and practice those ranges. I lived right downtown, middle of the city. Where am I gonna go to shoot my bow? I looked up on the internet. There's an archery range like 10 minutes from my house. It's at Cheviot Hills. Cheviot, Cheviot Hills. I'm sure I said that completely right. I just went and shot it. You can shoot anytime you want, as long as you have your own equipment. If you don't have your own equipment, this is awesome. If you don't have your own equipment, show up on Saturday at 11 a.m., go through a safety course, and then you can use all their stuff when there's an instructor there. So you can go and shoot every day if you want and use their stuff, and it's completely free. I donated them 30 bucks. I said, I'm gonna shoot here a bunch. I'm sure you guys uh, accept donations, so I dropped him a 30 spot. I'm gonna go shoot this range every day. I'm gonna take Gage there. I'm gonna go pick Gage up from school, and then we're gonna go shoot our bows every day until my hunt. Yeah, I just went on this huge tangent, tangerines. <laughs> I'm a big believer in being very well prepared, being over prepared, and that's not just shooting, that's, that's your equipment. Scouting, I've scoured maps for hours and hours and hours. I flew down there, went scouted it for three days. I'm feeling better now. I'm, I'm gonna get prepared. I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna do this dang thing. I'm sure that you guys are just so interested in hearing about how well prepared I'm gonna be. I'm gonna show you guys how well prepared I'm gonna be. Every day I'm gonna have a little snippet of how I prepare for my hunts and I'm gonna put them on Casey Levere. I'm, I'll put them on Hush and Wolf Levere. I'll put them on freaking epic rap battles of history. Every day I'm gonna show you guys a little bit what I do. It's running, hiking, shooting, looking over my maps, researching, sleeping well. You gotta sleep well if you're gonna hunt well, right? I gotta go to the grocery store. I guess we're feeding the Shea Carl family tonight and it's Meatless Monday, so what does a meat eater like myself feed a bunch of fake vegetarians? I'm gonna feed him Spam because Spam's not even really meat. It's just like ground up brown sugar. They make it a hamburger. So I'm gonna give Shea a Spam can and say, there you go, bud. Meatless Mondays, eat it, be thankful. So I was so excited about this archery range I found yesterday. Um, I told Gage, I said, let's go shoot it today. He was all pumped, excited, couldn't wait. Bro, you ready to go shoot the archery range? All right, glad you're excited. It's how exciting archery is, guys. If you can't see the excitement coming off Gage's face. So basically, I show up to my archery range, this great place I find in LA. You go shoot whenever you want, Gage. Like I said, he's all freaking jacked out of his mind and now we can't get in there because they're having a movie shoot what kind of place is this you can't go shoot an archery range because they're shooting a movie called or a show called ben and kate it's a fox show i got the lowdown so we gotta wait here for 10 minutes before they can finish the scene and then we can go in there let's just go ruin their shot and start shooting my bow all over Oop. okay get this one on right in the middle whoa Hey, don't grip it too tight. There you go. Move your finger. There you go. Whoa, nice job. All right, Mr. Blue Pants, what'd you think of the day? Mr. Blue Pants? Aren't your pants blue? Yeah. They match that drinking fountain behind you. Okay, we just got done shooting. How was it, bud? Here's the show I was telling you they were shooting. They wouldn't let us sit back in here, so we had park. 10 miles away and walk in. I guess it's called Ben and Kate. This is what it is though. I think it's a TV show for Fox. It's the thing with about YouTube. I'm shooting a movie too right now, but it's just me and my son. We got 200 people over there. You guys come check this range out. Cheviot Park. It's awesome. You can come shoot for free anytime you want. So Gage got these blue pants for school. They're Sean White pants, huh? Uh. And show us your Harry Potter shirt. He told me this morning that that's his Harry Potter shirt. So this says Hurley on it. He says, no, -uh, Mom says it says Harry Potter. We tell him it says Harry Potter because he thinks Harry Potter shirt's cooler than a Hurley shirt. Fine with me. They're a lot cheaper. All right, guys, this is Bronx and Casey coming. Are you serious? This is Bronx and Casey coming to you guys live right now from the backyard, from the office, from our office that leads into our backyard. That's Bronx's office. This is my office. Huh. 
He does his business out there. I do my business down here. I just wanted to say real quick that I know a, I promised a bunch of people a jerky a long time ago, and my mom, bless her little heart, just sent out like 15 or 20, I don't know, a huge number of packages full of Golden Valley Natural Beef Jerky. I bet they're glad that I'm the spokesman for them. I like jerky. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Some of you guys have tweeted me that you guys got your jerky finally and you said thanks. I just want to tell you guys thanks. If I promised you some jerky or you want something, a contest, a silly little contest I held, DM me your, your address and I'll, I'll try to get some jerky out to you. We did a contest here years ago. It was months ago. I had all those Casey LeVere phone cases like this one. You guys remember those? Pretty awesome, huh? Mine's dirty. It's actually a good phone case. I didn't think you could wash it because it gets dirty. But just take a white, get, just take a rag and scrub the back of them. Cleans them right up. I only have an address for one person. I sent that um, person. I don't remember who it was. I sent my mom all this list. There was four of you guys, I think, that won. So if you got your phone ca case, cool. If you didn't get your phone case and you deserve one or you won one, DM me your, your address again and I'll send those out as well. Let me know if you guys like it. I've asked you guys this before. I honestly think this is my favorite jerky in the whole entire world. It is. And I'm not just saying that, but I am saying that. But let me know what you guys think. It's coming up on a new year and we're going to start doing some other some stuff with um, some new people maybe. But I, I want to I keep working with these guys because they're awesome. The jerky is amazing. Let me know what you guys think if you've ordered it. If you haven't ordered it yet, I never... I, I think I've told you guys this once or twice, but when you go to order it on their homepage, Golden Valley Natural, there's a little promo box where you can type in a code. If you type in Hushin, H-U-S-H-I-N, it will save you like 10% on your order. So save you a couple bucks. Go order some of it. It's amazing. Um, I hope to work with these guys again this year. Signing out. This is me and Bronx, live, eating jerky in the backyard, in our office. Come here. Come here. You want some jerky? Bronx will eat. Bronx ate a whole bag, and I'm not just saying the jerky, the contents inside of it. He ate the bag and the jerky. Didn't, yeah, I'm looking at you. Did you eat this jerky? Did you eat this jerky? Did you eat it? Huh? Do you want some? Do you want a little nibble? Do you want some of it? Oh, yeah. Okay, here you go. Okay, bye. Bye. Really? I can have it?